Hi, this is Paul Carlson, CPA. In this video, we're gonna walk through how we help firms pay bills with the bill.com service. So the first step is when we set up a bill.com account is we set up an email address. And so it's typically something like your firm name at bill.com. And whenever you receive an invoice from a vendor, forward that invoice into the system. Sometimes you can have work with smaller vendors and you can say, if you wanna get paid, you have to send invoices directly into this new custom email address. We will let you know what that email address is. And once it's set up, when you log in, you can see it right here. Um, there's also an option that you can log into bill.com and upload um, invoices directly into the inbox. We don't see where a lot of firms use that, but if you want to, you can. The next step is something that we are in charge of doing. That when bills come into bill.com, they go into an inbox. And from here, this is where we add all the accounting coding. We like to do this. We're picky on the coding and the details and we watch the vendor payment details. We would prefer that you don't do this, that we update this a couple times a week. The next step is the firm owner approves bills. And so you will get an email a couple times a week saying you have bills to approve. Now the big distinction is in this approval process is we are not paying the bills. We're doing big corporate full on accounts payable process where we're going to approve bills as they come into the system. And then once a week or twice a month maybe, we will go in and pay the bills. So the nice thing is here is from the home screen, you'll have a note that says you have bills to approve. The big secret to this process is click on slide show approval. What this does is it shows the shows an image of the full invoice on the left and then on the right, it shows our accounting coding. And so you can look at the bill and make sure that the vendor sent us a correct invoice, that this is good. And then you can confirm that our coding is correct. So the key pieces are make sure the dollar amount is right and that the vendor's right. So we don't send the money to the wrong people. Typically don't have a whole lot of trouble with this. Sometimes in coding the bills, this first page will be blank be just the way the vendor sends it in. Now look to these tabs at the top. If the vendor invoice is multiple pages, we can scroll through the pages of the bill using these tabs. And when you're ready to say, yes, this bill is valid, we're not gonna pay it right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and click approve so we can go ahead and pay this someday. And so when you click approve, that it will actually forward you to the next bill to approve, that it just kind of goes snapshot by snapshot and allows you to see the bill and the coding detail at the same time and approve. So that's the approval process. And the next step in the process is to pay bills. You can click here to pay bills. I somehow like to go payables, pay. And this screen brings up a list of all the bills within the system that are, have not been paid. I suggest changing this setting so you only see bills that have been approved, that the bills have already gone through the approval step that we talked about a moment ago. I'm in a wacky demo account. If I change this to approved, it goes to a blank screen, so we won't do that. And so from here, you select the bills that you wanna pay. And at that, we will go down to the bottom of the screen and there will be a button that will say pay bills from bank account X and you click that and the bills will pay paid. What the process is you click today, then tomorrow bill.com will transfer funds from your checking account to their system to fund the bills. And then the following day bill.com will start printing paper checks and it will start sending EFTs out to vendors. One minor note, on paying bills is bill.com is geared to be full on corporate accounts payable where th 
companies are sending out huge checks and they want to hold on to each check until the very last minute. This process date will always default to the very last minute um, to make the payment on time. So if you ever see where it would say that for some reason this check can go out on the 18th and still be paid on time, what the system would do is they would write one check for this amount and this amount. And then in the background, it's going to wait until the 20th and then send a check for this invoice. Some firms don't like that, that they, when they click pay, they want all the payments to be made that same day. So the options are to one, manually override this process date, or the other is to talk with us and, and give us instructions to say, you don't care what the payment terms are on vendor invoices, that you want all invoices to be coded as of, um, that they're payable upon receipt, and we will just code them that way. And with that, we've walked through the key steps of paying bills from bill.com, from bill where we get bills into the system, accounting coding is added, bills are approved for payment at a later date, and then we actually click some buttons and make payments. Thanks much, bye-bye.